Good morning. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything. Wow, what a sweeping statement. Do not be anxious about anything. We spend an awful lot of our life anxious about things. Thinking things over in our minds, going over what might happen, listening to negative thoughts about various aspects of our lives, perhaps. But this verse in, in my new uh, Revised Standard Version says, have no anxiety about anything. And why does it say that? Because God never designed the human being, the human person, with the capacity to cope with anxiety. Think about Adam and Eve in the garden before they sinned. Everything they needed was provided for them. They didn't have to worry or be anxious about anything. The Lord came and met with them every evening. They walked around the garden and talked about what had happened during the day. They had nothing to fear, nothing to be anxious about. Because they knew they knew their position in God, they knew their relationship with him was secure. They trusted him in all things. Have no anxiety about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. This is the answer to anxiety. If you're anxious about something, talk to God about it. That's the answer. You're anxious about something, bring it to God. But make sure when you bring it to God, you bring it with thanksgiving. What does that mean? I think it means, Lord, I've got to face this today. I don't know how I'm going to get on. I'm a bit worried about what the traffic will be like. I'm a bit worried about the congestion, if I'll get caught up in a lot of... Um, I'm a bit, I get anxious when I'm driving. You know, I'm worried that the car might break down or I might have a puncture. I might get stranded somewhere without help. But, Lord, I ask you to help me. And I thank you. I, I thank you that you will be with me, that you are with me. You will be with me. And whatever happens, you will help me. You are not going to abandon me and leave me to cope with it alone. You will, you will oversee everything. I can trust you. I thank you that before it happens, you have the solution. You've gone ahead of me. And you're going to be with me. And your word says, do not be anxious. So I refuse to, I refuse to be anxious about it. I'm going to be all right. Are you anxious about anything today? Are there things troubling you on your mind? Keep going round and round your head. You're anxious. You're nervy about things. That's not the walk of faith. The walk of faith is knowing that God, he may not give you the answer now, but he'll give you the answer if and when you ever need it. And he's never going to leave you or forsake you. What have you got to be anxious about? In fact, this is, this, is, this is a command, really. And it's followed a verse, um, two verses before in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We are not to be po-faced people walking around like a wet weekend. We're meant to be people who radiate the presence of God who know who they are in God, who know and feel secure that, that God is with them, that they don't need to worry about anything. It's a bit hard to be worrying and rejoicing at the same time. You can't really do the two things. Don't let worry occupy your mind. Don't let worry and anxiety. Don't be anxious about your family 
your children or your grandchildren or about don't be anxious about anything that's everything you know, don't be anxious about anything God God because God in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God God knows already but he likes to talk it over with you he likes you to bring the worries to him and then look to him to deal with them to care for you to watch over you to provide for you that's his, that's his job he's your shepherd he's your father he's your provider he's your king there's no need for anxiety when you live in the security of the Father's love. That's enough thought for today, but think about it today. Are there things that you are anxious about? If there are, talk to God about them. Don't let them settle. Don't get used to being anxious about things. We get into the habit. People, Our culture expects us to worry about things. Our culture expects us to be anxious. If someone in our family is ill, people expect us to be pacing around and looking worried and anxious. We don't, that's not, that's not the kingdom way. The kingdom way is to trust God. It's to trust God, not, not to talk about the worry and, and rehearse the worry and what might happen. And Oh dear, the doctors say this or that or the other. And, and the, you're, don't. This is, this, is, this is kingdom living. Have no anxiety about anything. That's something to think about. See you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.